I don't even know how I look right now because it's so um, sunny out. I'm with Ming and we are walking. Well, I'm walking and she's in her stroller, her strolly, because she doesn't like, well, she'll walk, but then she just like sits down. Like if she sees like, I don't, I don't know what it is. She just loves to sit and like breathe the air, smell the air. She doesn't, she's not like a walking kind of dog. She loves to like run around the backyard a little bit, but I love, I love that about her too, because I'm like very low energy when it comes to like physical activity. So she's like the perfect dog. She doesn't make me like throw the ball and shit. You know what I mean? Like my mom's dog is like constantly wanting to play. So Ming and me, me and Ming are, Ming and I are a match made in heaven. Also, I have like a really bad sniffle right now. Like I'm like sneezing and stuff. Anyway, um, <sighs> I'm out of breath because I'm fat. Okay, so I am on my way right now. I'm getting my nails done. I have red right now. And I'm gonna get to French. I think I just love like when I have, these are my real nails, yes, but I put gel on them so it makes them last, you know, harder. I feel like people ask me like, how do you get your nails so long? I don't know, they grow fast, I guess, I don't know. And I have gel, so maybe that protects them more. But I know, I make jewelry like full time too, so I don't know, I guess. My like, I've said this before, my like, like my um, grandma who's now dead, she has really, really strong nails. Um, and we don't talk about her because she's a fucking bitch, but anyway, next, next story. So, um, going to get my nails done, and then after I'm going to get injections, and you guys know that, or you don't know, duh, I don't say that. I haven't done my injections since the last time you guys saw when I went with Johnny to get, to get Botox, I think it was. That was the last time I did it. And I'm, of course, going back to Natalie. I always, I've been going to Natalie for since I started getting Botox. Um, God, it has to be over five years, six years, over six years. So I always go to her and um, you guys should too. Seriously, I, my mom goes, everyone goes to her. Like my friend Nat, you know, the Russian girl, like we all go to her. Everyone, we all go to her. Like she is the best. I actually learned about her from Nat a long time ago. Anyway, um, so it's Kalology, and I'll leave the information below. So Natalie has become like my friend, and then the guy, like, there's a guy named Matt, he's like my friend too, like, um, and he works, like, they're, we're all friends, I don't know, he works for Kalology. Anyway, but go to Natalie, she's the best. I will put the, her information below. Um, so, okay, this is the thing I wanna to talk to you guys about. Not that I'll be able to get a response, but I typically, in the past, always focused on the bottom lip. And so I just have like a big pouty bottom lip and I wouldn't do anything to the top. But I kind of feel like I'm over that look. I almost feel like smaller lips are back now. Like I don't like big lips anymore. But at the same time, it's fun. So I think I'm not gonna do anything in the bottom this time and just get some on the top, which is like completely not me. I don't know how it will turn out. We'll see, hopefully it's okay. Um, and then, of course, I'm gonna do some... Okay, let me show you guys my... Can you see? Like that's not okay. Um, and obviously this is not a video for people who don't agree with this and now you guys know I'm sorry, like I don't care at all. Like I can, I promise you I don't care. So please don't say anything about how you should or like, oh my God, you know what the best comment is? I hate this comment, I think it's so stupid. This comment that I hate the most is, I'm 40 years old and I've never gotten Botox. I look better than you or like, I have never needed it. Like, bitch. Okay, unless you're black, because black skin is like the best skin, I feel like, or Asian, you're a liar. Like, you're a fucking liar. And I know, <laughs> and honestly, like, I don't, like, it doesn't bother me. Like, maybe you do have better skin. Who cares? Like, I don't know. That's, a, that's one that bothers me. Another one that bothers me is like, Oh my god, please don't do it, please don't do it. You look so terrible. Like, I know, I'm sorry, I don't look terrible. Like, I really don't. And if I th if I look back on this in 20 years and think I look, look terrible, whatever. I did look terrible, but it's just, who cares? You know, it's just fucking injection. It's not gonna last forever. Um, so, that's that. I'm also thinking about getting a little bit of filler right here and here on my left lines because that is my, like, you guys know if there's like one pet peeve about a face. Deep laugh lines is my huge pet peeve, and if you watch my earlier videos, you know that I was blessed with the most disgusting laugh lines in the world. It's just like genetic, you know what I mean? So I have had those filled, and that's what changed my face a lot for the better. Um, and so I'm just very in tune to that. Like, I don't want to see a laugh line. I don't want to see any kind of indentation, actually. Um, 
you see? I don't know. I mean, obviously I have a cheek. I don't want to go completely flat, but like a, like even a little bit of a fold, I just don't like. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I don't know if this is fucking boring, but you guys are just along with me for the ride. And okay, I'll check in later. I'm going to get my injections done. I'll bring you guys in with me probably. So I don't know, just depending on, I don't know. I don't know if I will. Actually, and then I also have a gift for Natalie, the girl who does my injections, because she had a baby and I haven't seen her since. So I went to this really cute Korean baby store in a Korean plaza that I I have gotten like my brother's kids clothes from. And I got him this really cute outfit, so I hope she likes it. It looks so good on you, it's really. Like, it's like perfect. Perfect. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love the way it looks on everyone. Your skin looks good. I know, I actually have, I feel like I've held up so good since yeah. I haven't seen you for, I since think last time, since Johnny. I that's when you continuously do it. Right. You just kind of get used to it and you don't make facial expressions. Is that what it is? I think okay. I've like learned or something? Yeah. But I'm just, you know, so afraid that I'll get those like permanent. So but I haven't. Do a little bit on the forehead and well, I don't like that. I don't like that. This, you know, I hate. Do you want to just do full dosing? Yeah, everything. And then um, I don't want to do anything in the bottom, but I want a little bit. I'm, I want to kind of change okay. my vibe a little bit. Okay. Um, and then can we do this? Yeah. A little bit. You know, I hate that. Yeah. So you want just a little here, but more so here. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll let you kind yeah. of. You okay. know what I like. It's numb you. It's this whitening cream. It's freaking amazing. From Korea. From what brand? Donny oh, Yumbi. I don't know it. Yeah, it's like under, they have it in like Koreatown kind uh -huh. of underground. Yeah, oh yeah, cool. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, you gotta bring me some. Even, yes. uh, it's better than like Chanel and everything. Everything. It really is. Everything. And it's so gentle. Isn't it? And mm -hmm. it's, it's so brightening. Mm -hmm. what it is. Brightening. You like the whitening stuff too? Mm -hmm. I know. It's like, it's a red ginseng radiance cream. Oh wow. And it's, it yeah. goes on white and then you just tap it in uh -huh. until it like is all even on your skin. It like literally like lifts your face. You can feel it, huh? I love that. Okay. I mean, stop it. 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 Do you feel like the Botox kind of start working for you? A lot of people say they feel it like. My good set. You know what I notice? Like tomorrow, I will look so bright and fresh and tight. I don't even know. Like I just look a different person the next day. Mm -hmm. I don't even notice the wrinkle factor. I just notice how smooth everything mm -hmm. is. It's, yeah. Remember when I first came to you and I had really deep ones? <laughs> she probably had to wear like seven syringes in each one. I swear, it was so horrible. Choker. Oh. God, Alex, you're such an easy patient. You really are. I know, like, seriously. Like you don't even flinch. I know, you don't flinch. You're like, so me, I'm like... Really? Maybe because Ming's on you, I don't know. Smile. Relax. You don't even need much. Like, my least... Like, my big, huge... Oh, yeah, that's better already. Do you want more, Isn't you want it? more right? I want it, yeah, I think I want it more here. Okay. I just don't want to be one of those really annoying people. No. You know? Not that I... Well, it's important that, you know, give feedback, like, what you don't want, what you do want. But... Yeah, sometimes patients are like, I need a breather. Mm -hmm. All the way around. Yeah. The volume. Uh huh. Yeah, you built yours. Like yeah, yours are built. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my bottom is like never gonna go away. Right here, it'll <laughs> always be like that. Just like maybe like three. Sorry, it's like you have one a year. 
three syringes? Thirty? Three. Oh. oh my god. Over a course of three years. Okay, that's no that's I'll that's typical. Up a little bit. I'm not that crazy. Here. I think I can already tell it looks pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Except it always shrinks. Looks, yeah. Well, you're seeing it instantly, so it's not like super swollen right now. Um, do you want more of the fullness here? I think you should put a little on the line. I'm not going to lie. On the line? Think so? To border it, to flip it out a little bit. Okay, linear. Hold on. This is like. Okay, like, look at this picture of me. This is like. Decision, but this is like right after I had gotten mine done when I did the border. border. And oh yeah, I like border. Looks. Okay. I think so I like border. Okay, we'll do a little border like right there. What's it? What are you telling me? <laughs> the the line, like look at. Oh, the, I like the line. That's what I that's, did. Oh, that's that was what I right want that. After I got it done. Uh huh. And that was like after the swelling went down and it set, it just kind of slightly yeah, you do have, yeah. You have a definite defined border. Mm -hmm. I don't have one, do I? Okay. He, he we has do, one. Do but. We'll define it more in the end here. Okay. Just a subtle difference. Yeah, so exactly. Alex, I'm obsessed with the matching. It looks really know, good on you. It looks really good. See? Huge difference. See? But in like a, the light, in like the slightest way. Yeah. It just gives that extra pout, I'm telling exactly. you. Exactly. That's my favorite way to do it. A little bit in here, you don't want to drop it too much. You're right. But you give it the illusion of giving you the line and it gives you that like And this lip. will make my lip, my face not fold in. I, yeah. My lip fold like I said it does. Mm -hmm. we'll just this is perfect. Too. So like we'll go little today and then we'll do some more later so it'll kind of Yeah. Stretch Thank you. Slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you're good at that. Yeah, it was yeah. Fun. really good. You can difference from one You side totally to can, yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm getting the, the itch now <laughs> to do something with myself. Everybody. My lips are, remember that part right there is so it's messed up. It's actually not so bad. Did we derma pen it a little bit? Put like a little, did we do the derma pen right on it? No, we did the thick um, juba or whatever, yeah. the hard one. It's definitely better. It's just, it is what it is. I was supposed to get it tattooed, but I never did it. So let that settle and then we'll flip it up even more if we want okay. to. I hope you like it. Is it Syrah? I I not sure. <laughs> I, can, I don't know. I can't pronounce it. Oh, oh my god, how my cute! Gosh, it's so it's cute, cute, right? Look how cute that is! Yeah! Oh, it's like a little dinosaur. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I love it, Alex. Right? Oh, there's one more thing too. Yeah. It's so, so cute. cute. Oh my god. Oh, Just yeah. little black jeans, yeah. right? You have to have okay. your basic black jeans. <laughs> exactly. That was a cute outfit. It's like the best outfit. I love okay, it. Okay, good. Oh, he totally will wear it. I figured. I figured. And I'll Instagram it for sure. Well, now it's time to see it. When you, if you can fit into oh. it. Oh, I'm excited if it fits. You like it. I love No, I honestly good. love it. Yeah, I figured you would. That's me, like black yeah. and gray. Like, totally. 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 I was like, I cannot get this baby blue shit. Like, she's <laughs> never going to wear it. The Saint Laurent baby. Yes. yes. It was literally Miss Laurent. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just like took, went on a walk to get Botox. <laughs> I'm such a freak. Um. Anyway. So, I'm done with that. And I got my nails done, but I wasn't able to tell you guys about my nails. You guys, I found the most perfect Rita Hayworth color 
nails and you guys will know, will know what I'm talking about. If you follow my vlogs, you'll know. Do you remember that picture of Rita Hayworth I showed you guys in that book? Her nails, how it was like a light, clear pink. Here it is. How gorgeous is this? Oh my god, I love my lips right now. It looks so good. Um, anyway, it's called, it's by IBD. Okay, that's the brand of nail polish called Macaroon. So, go buy it. It's a gel polish and then have your nail tech apply it for you because it is a freaking perfect. It's fucking perfect. I'm so in love. Um, what else? I'm so stoked. I'm so, so stoked for tomorrow. My face is going to look so amazing. I'm so excited. So, this is like the new shit. It's taking my dog for a walk in the stroller to get Botox. <laughs> I feel like the biggest moron ever. Oh my god. Oh. Like, that's like so who the fuck would do that. And so I actually did that. You know what I mean? Like, great. You're so embarrassing. Oh. My Rita Hayworth nails. And how gorgeous is this? This is three coats of that nail polish. I'll try to find the link. If not, um, then you know the name, Macaroon. And then this is my rose gold stack that I'm gonna be releasing soon, um, tomorrow actually. When you guys see this video, it will be tomorrow. And there are three different and really unique um, chains, especially the first two. And the last one is like a really popular, it's like my link and love. Choker, which a lot of you guys have, is now available as a bracelet, and they're so, so pretty. I've been wearing them for a while now, and I love them. Let's see if I can show you guys them up close and how thick and nice the links are. This one is the most delicate, but they're so pretty. I love them. And obviously you can wear one, you can wear them all. But what I love about this um, shade too is they look good with your silver and with your gold pieces. They're so great. I love this color rose gold. And there's my nails. So pretty. Yes, these are my real nails. Okay, bye. Hey guys. So I have the fish lens like turned off right now because I wanted you to see the actual... Let me turn off. I'm watching Dateline, of course. Like, I think this is, see what I mean? See if I don't turn on the fish lens and like you're this close when I hold you. And then it's just really hard, okay? So it's just way better, better for vlogging. Okay, actually I actually want to pause this because I don't want to miss it out. I haven't seen this one. Okay, hold on. Okay, um, so I wanted to show you guys my lips. I also wanted to show you guys find a good light um this is like actual i think because it's not like bold it's not like doing fish lines. like this is like what i really look like i think um okay so i got my botox done so now before it's been a couple days so i don't remember exactly what i filmed but i think i like squinted for you guys i don't go so strong that i can't move like that's what i love about that's why you have to find someone you trust and i've been going to natalie for i told you guys like seven years um, but I can still move a little bit and I choose that I don't want to move here. Like when I smile, I don't want, cause I don't want crow's feet and you guys like your comments, like I know, oh, you look so good with crow's feet. Like I, I don't like it personally. If you like crow's feet, you should, you should leave your crow's feet. I don't want them. Um, so anyway, I did, um, some Botox here and then I did, I think here, and then I did my lips. And I'm doing my lips differently now. And that's what I wanted to tell you guys. So, uh, what did I say change battery park? I don't get it. That's so weird. Um, so, I'm doing my lips differently now. I used to only do the bottom, remember? Um, now, I have not done my bottom lip in, I think, around a year. Maybe, uh, maybe like eight months. I don't remember. You guys will probably know more than me. Um, and this time, I just did a little bit right here. And right here to kind of like, you see how it's picked up a little bit? So I'm just changing the shape of my lips a little bit. I don't like to go too drastic. And I feel like they look really, really good. I mean, they're obviously plump, but they're not obnoxious or scary looking. And I love that. So I kind of wanted to show you guys the, um, the look. And I'm just wearing a little bit of chapstick right now. I'm not wearing anything else. Let me see. My bangs, I'm trying to like get used to, but 
This side's never as pretty as this side. So that's it. Okay, so I just feel, my lips look so good. I just, I'm so happy with them. I'm gonna put the information below. You guys know who I go to. I've shared it before, but I'll put the information um, to the nurse I go to below. And tell her, if you guys go, tell her you went from me. I, I don't know if she'll give you a discount or something. She might. Um, she might give you like something extra. I don't, I don't know. I'm, there's really like, I don't even know. Maybe she, I don't know, we'll see. I, was I supposed to say that? I don't know. Okay, anyway, um, am I gonna edit that? No, whatever, it doesn't hurt to try, right? So, I'm gonna show you guys some of my, Hall my Halloween decorations. And okay, you guys know I am so picky about holiday decorations. I don't like, um, I don't like obvious decorations for any holiday, for Christmas, Thanksgiving, anything. I just don't like decorations. Just like with, when I buy bags, I feel like I, I don't care what the bag is, I will wear it whenever I want. So when I buy decorations, like typically, unless it's like a Christmas tree, obvious Christmas stuff, like I don't care, I wanna use it year round. I mean, Christmas is a little bit iffy, but. So for Halloween, I don't have like real decorations, and the decorations I buy, I feel like I kinda could use year round, not all of them, but some. Um, does that make sense? I don't know. Like, I don't like anything orange. I don't like anything purple. I don't like anything that says boo on it. I don't like anything that says, like, happy Halloween. Like, I don't like anything that you can find at a craft store, even though I, everything I'm going to show you right now, a lot of it is from Michael's. It's just, like, if you, if you, like, know what to choose, you can have really cool, um, decorations without being, like, super cheese. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys my coffee table. I know you guys love that kind of stuff. It's just a little corner, um, and I love it. So here we go, except the candle is orange, but it smells so good. I don't know. I need to find a votive for it, but I haven't found one yet. I'm going to turn this around and show you guys. Okay, can you see? So I've taken beakers. This is, like, a graduated beaker, um, and then this, I forget what it's called. This is not a beaker, it's like a flask. Um, and these are both like science, you know what I mean? Like science-y looking stuff, like creepy science, right? And I feel like that's very Halloween. Um, even though you could use these year round, which I do actually, I showed you guys this before. I just have this, um, I wanna get a flower or a leaf, not a flower, like a leaf or a black, some kind of a black leaf, a real one. I don't like fake, fake stuff. Um, and then I put a candle in here Actually, let me just strike this now with you guys. And I have this little thing, and this looks very like old school lab to me. And I feel like this looks so neat when it's lit. Look at how it glows more. I like keep that in there. Um, it just glows more, and this is really cool. And there's a little scraper on the bottom. This. It's definitely not for the season, and I'm not 100% in love with it, so I would not recommend it, in all honesty. And this nest candle is amazing. I'm gonna put it in the link below because it's really cool, except it's completely ruining my fucking vibe. Like, I look at it and, and like, I see red. It's so ugly. And then I have my Jonathan Adler coasters that I love, and they say, like, you know, rude words, like peyote, it's like drugs, opium, shrooms. LSD, even though I've never done drugs my whole life. I just think it's like funny, I don't know, whatever. Okay, this is also Jonathan Adler from a long time ago, but this is just my little corner for Halloween on my coffee table. Um, it's just simple, and I got these both from Michaels, guys, and they always have like 15, 50% off stuff, so you can get like really good deals on them. I think I'm like under $5 a piece. These aren't typically expensive anyway, like the Pyrex or whatever, they're never expensive, but just so you know. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys to my next corner now. Right now, and you're gonna probably be asking me like, Alex, what the fuck is that? So that is a broom. <laughs> it's from Trader Joe's, and it's just a cinnamon broom. And I bought it because it smells so good, but I don't know what to do with it. I hate it. I just, I think I might put it in my fireplace now. Actually, let's just do that down together. I mean, I don't mind if it shows a little bit, but it just smells really good. Anyway, okay, let me show you. Another thing, I don't like to decorate every ass, every area of my house. I like to just like decorate little parts because then it gets to be really overwhelming. So I'm not really, okay, let me tell you. You guys know those little Halloween dolls, these? Oh, I'm just gonna come over here and show you. So these little Halloween dolls that you guys know, um, if you've been following me for a while, I bought this one one year. The next year I got this one, and then I got this one this year. And um, I always change them up. Like, they always come with these really hideous little trick-or-treat bags. This one, I forget what I did. This one, I took off a bunch of ugly shit. This one, same thing, to make them, like, 
more sleek and cute. Um, and I kind of feel like my obsession with them is getting out of control and I don't want to be, end up being like a doll collector. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know I'm going to want one next year too. Anyway, <sighs> why am I always out of breath? So those are there, um, but I, lo I love them at the same time. And they actually, I, they don't bother me. I feel like if they started bothering me, I would just put them away. So I'm not tired of them yet. All right, that's that. On to the next. I'm also going to show you guys my front door. I'm so excited. Okay. I like to do this really close so you guys don't see my whole house. Okay, so this is my bar cart kind of thing. This I got from, sorry, it's a Ming's toy that is ruining my vibe. Um, this is from like the 70s, like a piece that I got online. And I love it so much. It's not even like a bar cart, but I use it for that. It's honestly just like a side table. Okay, so what all I did is I put these little gummies, teeth gummies in here, just cause it's really creepy. It looks like dentures. That's all I did for my bar cart, but I love it. Oh yeah, I got these too. Well, Nick got these. Um, and they're actually not really my style, but it was one thing that he showed interest in when we were out. So I was like, okay. I was like trying to include him, you know? They actually kind of do. I like the fact they say um, cyanide and arsenic on it, but I don't like the skulls. It kind of like ruins it. So that's that. Just nothing big. Doesn't have to be major to have a lot of impact. Here is my front door. Oh, I locked myself out. Fuck, back door's open. Okay, here's my front door. And you guys, you have to be really careful. Really, really careful. I wanted like super spooky, 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 you know? Um, I didn't want like anything cheesy. I just got this. It's like a dried um, grape leaf kind of thing. And it looks really Blair Witch. And then these were a lot smaller than I thought they would be. I got them at Michael's too. I think I should have got another two at least and I just hung them. This I always have on my door, so I just left it. And then I got these keys from Michael's too, and they're just like metal, creepy looking like secret garden keys. So that's that. And then let me show you guys my pumpkins. So these are my pumpkins, and I'm gonna give you guys a trick. A trick for the pumpkins is go to Trader Joe's. They are so inexpensive there, and you have a big variety of the fantasy pumpkins. So I think they're like $5 a piece only. Really Okay, I'm back in my house now, and that is, I need to like get the, I need to cut those and put double tape, sided tape at the top, because it looks terrible, but that's just how it is right now. I don't have double, double sided tape. Okay, I hope you guys liked my video about my, the truth about my like injections, the truth about my Halloween decor. Like I know I'm very upfront, and I'm very honest with you guys, and it can get me in trouble, but I feel like I, I feel like I'm very upfront with you guys. It could get me in trouble. Some people get offended. Like, what do you mean cheesy Halloween? Like, please don't get offended. Like, everyone should honestly be themselves. Like, I just because I call things cheesy doesn't mean you think it's cheesy. And I, you know, vice versa. You probably think my stuff is stupid or like too understated or too try hard, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, that's fine. It is totally fine. Um, but I love you guys no matter what. Okay, but I, you guys know I'll always be honest with you. Um, also, these new bracelets I will be releasing soon. They are a rose gold trio and they're chunky as hell. They're so cool. I've been wearing them now for like, I think you might've seen them in other videos too, I'm not sure, for like a month and I'm ready to release them. They're so, so pretty and so unique. So keep in, these will be available tomorrow, which is the 11th. Also, I have tomorrow, I'm going in for a dentist appointment. Um, is it tomorrow? I think it's tomorrow. Ugh. Wish me luck. All right, guys. Love you guys so much. Bye.